Hey guys, this is Shashank. I hope you all are doing well today. So first of all, I would like to wish you all a very happy new year and I would like to thank you all for checking on my videos. I will try to bring more technical videos this year. The plan is big to grow this channel. So please stay tuned and keep watching my videos on cloud and the other platforms which are coming shortly. Okay, so agenda for today. AWS Trusted Advisor, one of my favorite tool that AWS has provided. So basically this is a tool or a service from AWS which provides real-time guidance to help user to provision resources with AWS best practices. So what basically this tool covers up? This help us to scan our AWS resources since this is globally available so this is not region specific this scans everything with every region that we have in AWS. So scan our resources on AWS in terms of cost optimization, performance, security, fault tolerance and service limits as well. This is very simple to use so I have jotted down a few points. Let's review that first and I'll show you how to use this tool on AWS Management Console. So this is the diagram that I have taken from Amazon website. As an AWS customer, what we want, the most value of your investment, right? So trusted advisor help us there because it help us to scan all the resources based upon the cost optimization, the performance optimization and security as well. So trusted advisor scans your AWS infrastructure since it is globally available. So you don't have to run it a region specific thing compares it with AWS best practices in background with five categories and provide the recommended actions. So what this will gonna do, this will gonna scan our resources based upon the five parameters that AWS has defined, which is cost optimization, performance, security, fault tolerance, and service limits. And based upon that, whatever the findings are coming out of those scans, this will gonna give us the results or the recommendations that you have to do this way to achieve the AWS best practices. Okay. So when it comes to cost optimization, it will going to investigate the recommendations in terms of performance. If no problem is detected, we are good. If there is some problem, then it will going to list out that particular performance issues as well. Security. If let's say, somebody has created a security group and it's open to the world the ssh or rdp port is open to the world so that is a security threat this will gonna scan that particular security group as well and based upon that this will gives us a recommendation fault tolerance no problem detected we are good if there is some problem then we have to do the actions over there service limits again so based upon the service limits let's say uh if we are running out of any limits on any of the services, then this will gonna give us the recommendation over there as well. So this is how the diagram of, uh, or the architecture of AWS Trusted Advisor works. Next slide is the five parameters that AWS checks upon. One is cost optimization, recommendations that can potentially save your money by highlighting unused resources, opportunities to reduce your bill. So that is the biggest advantage of this tool. This will gonna scan all the resources. Let's say you have 100 of EC2 instances and out of that 70 instances are underutilized or uh, that needs to be provisioned as M5 large but somebody has provisioned as M5 4, 4X large. So this will gonna give us a recommendations that the utilization of M4X large, M4 4X large server is very low, you can reduce that to M4 X large or M5 X large. Based upon that recommendation, this will gonna save us the money as well. Security, identification of the security settings that could make your AWS solution less secure. So basically this will gonna identify, as I said, in terms of the security group, as an example, it will gonna scan that resource and give us a recommendation that this needs to be blocked. That's one example on the security side. Fault tolerance, recommendation that help us to increase the resiliency of AWS solutions by highlighting the redundancy shortfalls, current service limits, and overutilized resources as well. 
in terms of performance this will gonna recommend that can help us to improve the speed and responsiveness of your applications as well in terms of service limit this will gonna recommend us when service uses is more than 80 percent of the limit so based upon that we can take our actions accordingly so these are the five basic pillars of aws trusted advisor that aws checks scans all the resources based upon these five parameters gave us the recommendation and based upon that recommendation we have to take in actions so i hope this clears on the theoretical side of aws trusted advisor this is one of a very useful tool in terms of uh, cost optimization i see this tool uh, very useful in terms of cost optimization and security because uh, what matters is the money if you are wasting our money on the infrastructure side which is like underutilized then we can reduce that as per our recommendation as i said m5 4x large is not needed let's reduce that to m5 large and we will gonna save a money lot of money over there so i'll jump into aws management console this is my aws management console so if you go to the services and inside management and governance there is something called trusted advisor click on that so as of now, my trusted advisor is disabled. I'm on the dashboard side. So to use trusted advisor, what you have to do, you can see to enable trusted advisor first use IAM to install this particular role, such as uh, via role creation page, then click enable. So this particular role is already created for me. I'm going to show you in IAM management console. Search for IAM and i'll open this in new tab so we have to go to our role section and search for this role you can see this role is already created okay so the policy that has been assigned this is aws manage policy which is aws trusted advisor service role policy if you expand this and uh, go to the policy summary me scroll down a bit yeah so you can see like uh, 18 out of 219 services is showing so if i uh, so you can see like cloud formation list read list read is basically reading your objects it's not doing any right operation on your resources so this consists of each and every services that we have in aws somewhere around 219 for my account so this will gonna scan 219 services and based upon that this will gonna give us the recommendations so let's go ahead and click enable trusted advisor so these are the five parameters you can see like cost optimization in terms of dollars then we have performance security i have two threats fault tolerance is zero service limits is 50. now let's see in terms of cost optimization so either you can see all at once on the dashboard page or you can navigate to each of the parameters to check if the cost optimization is showing something so as of now it's zero you can see like upgrade your support plan to unlock the trusted advisor recommendation so trusted advisor recommendation basically we have three kinds of plan basic one is uh, uh, business and one is enterprise i'm gonna show you the page of the costing i don't remember exactly the three plans but these are the three plans that we have so by default every account get a basic level of uh, scanning so as you can see uh, once you upgrade this account to the next level then you're gonna see all these utilization of resources so what are the parameters that it's checking around low utilization amazon ec2 instances so basically uh, it will gonna alert the daily CPU utilization if it is less than 10% every week and the network IO was like less than 5% for more than four days that that means that our EC2 instance is underutilized so we don't have to provision that bigger instance like M5 4x large same way it will gonna check the ideal load balancers then underutilized EBS volumes so the major costing part you're gonna save at two places one is ec2 instances which are underutilized and underutilized ebs volumes so these two what i have seen with my all projects 
that was created by some architects before. So these two gives us a lot of cost saving approach. I have saved almost around more than $60,000 in a time frame of two months after reducing the, after uh, right specking my all resources. Okay, go to the performance again. Uh, this will gonna scan the high utilization Amazon EC2 instances. So let's say our EC2 instance is going 90% and above every single minute for next 14, 15 days. Then that instance needs to be upgraded. For example, M5 large to M5 2x large. Same way, Amazon EBS provision IOPS volume attachment configuration. This will gonna check the provision IOPS uses as well. Large number of rules on the security groups. So these are the things that this will gonna check. If you go to the security part, which I have two security checks which are like uh, non-compliant. So you can see like uh, this has scanned MFA on the root account, which is not enabled as part of the best practices. We have to enable MFA on our root, root account and even on sub accounts as well. If you go to the security groups, so you can see like I have uh, 3389 open across the world. So if you click this one RDP, this will gonna open up my EC2 console. Okay, so RDP inbound is open across the world. So anybody can log into my environment. So that's why it's showing red mark. This is warning, this particular triangle. So most of my ports are open across the world. That's why it's showing like that. The best part is like you can download all the reports over here. So click the download option and uh, this will gonna show you the results. Let me open it. Here we go. Security group, the ports are unrestricted. This is the account ID. Check the security group rule that unrestricted access to a specific port. And this is something a malicious activity. So this can be hacked around across the world. My servers can be logged in across the world from any laptop, any location. So that's why it's showing. You can see like US East one is one region and CA Central. So as I said, this is available globally. So that's why you don't have to run it region specific wise. You can see all the regions are grayed out. Okay. So if your uh, status is like compliant in nature, then this will gonna give us a green status. You can see I am usage. We, I don't have any issue with my I am usage apart from the MFA on the root account. So this will gonna list everything on that side. If you go to service limits, you can see like uh, check the usage that is more than 80% on the auto scaling group limit. So I don't have any issue on that side as well. So this is how Trusted Advisor is very useful in terms of uh, potential cost saving and the performance management and the security management as well. So for me, most of the time, it helps me around cost optimization, security and the performance side. Fault tolerance, most of my applications or most of my infrastructure side, the fault tolerance always comes with my green tick. So even the performance side, uh, most of the time, uh, I guess 95% of the time, the infrastructure that we have provisioned or the application that we have designed, the performance is flawless across the world. So only part uh, that we have to take care is like cost saving and the security side. So by mistake, somebody created a group which is open to the world, unrestricted access, that is a big security threat that can hack our servers that's why we used to check around cost optimization and the security side so cost optimization is mostly for the potential cost saving which everybody requires right so the next part i want to show you the costing side the plans that we have we have three support plans one is developer business and enterprise with developer, you can do all the experiment work on uh, AWS Trusted Advisor. You can see the checks that we get is seven core checks. And for business and enterprise, we have full sets. Technical support is just the business R with unlimited cases and one primary contact. 
for business and enterprise we have 24 cross 7 phone email and chat support with unlimited cases and unlimited contacts same with the response time for developer we have less than 24 hours for system impaired is less than 12 hours for business it's more support and for enterprise is more than the business that what we have the business critical system down as well architectural guidance is general for the developer support but for uh, business and enterprise it's more than that if you scroll down at the pricing level then for developer we get charged as $29 per month or 3% of the monthly usage for business is $100 per month or 10% of the monthly usage for first zero to $10,000 then for 7% 5% 3% based upon how frequently we are using trusted advisor same for uh, enterprise edition it is greater than $15,000 but based upon the usage uh, you can see like 3% uh, of the monthly AWS usage if you are going above $1 million. So that's how the plan works, the support plan. There was something called basic as well. So let's go and select select support plan because by default, every account falls into the basic plan. You can see like uh, basic current plan, 24 cross 7 access to the customer service documentation and white papers then again seven code checks personal health dashboard no technical support no guidance but if you go to the pricing model it's included so whatever you use you have to pay for that that's how the basic model works but with the developer addition the pricing gets started like $29 per month based upon that so you can select the support plan by default every account falls into the basic so no ch additional charges to enable this particular service so that's it guys for aws trusted advisor go ahead and uh, try with this basic version where you don't have to pay anything apart from whatever you use you have to pay for that that's it place out a comment in comment section if you're facing any issue and i'll be there to help you have a nice day Bye bye